did I actually say anything as banal, as, as trite as that? Word for word, Emmett, honey. Embarrassing. You must have uh, microphones planted all over this apartment. Just in the more strategic places. Some people are camera bugs. I make tape recordings, my hobby. Business would be a better word for it, my dear, wouldn't it? Well, I do try to make it pay for itself. Yes. Well, I, uh, I must say, my dear, I, I never suspected you of being so, uh, what shall we say, enterprising? Well, a girl in my position has to look ahead, Emmett, honey. Yes, I, uh, I suppose you're right. Now, I, uh, I give you this, and uh, you give me the tape recording, and then we can both look back on our friendship with uh, fond memories. Mm -hmm. But, Emmett, honey, this is for $2,000. Well, think nothing of it. That's exactly what I do think of it, Emmett, honey. Nothing. Nothing. What exactly did you have in mind? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen? Well, think how much more than that it would cost you if your wife divorced you. Yes, but my dear, fifteen thousand oh. dollars. My gracious, I didn't know it was so late. It's three o'clock already and I have a date at five. I just simply must ask you to leave now, Emmett. Yes, my dear, but we have several things that I want we to discuss with you. We have nothing more for us to talk about, Emmett, honey. Either I get the $15,000 or your wife gets the tape recording. Now, and I want the money in cash, Emmett, honey, by noon tomorrow. Now, Harry, you've got the... <laughs> well, I'd like to help you, Emma. Getting straying husbands untangled from barbed wire just isn't my line of work. Well, that isn't what I'm asking, my dear. No, what are you asking? Why, well, I, I just want you to talk to her. Oh? Well, maybe uh, throw a little scare into her, but assure her that I, I want to do the right thing. Yeah, and uh, just how much is the right thing? Well, I'd be willing to go as high as uh, 5000 $5,000? Well, that's a long way from 15. Why, you know she isn't serious, Mike. She can't be. <laughs> <laughs> well, can she? <laughs> I don't know. You know this little magnolia blossom. I don't. You tell me. She can be. Okay. Where can I find this uh, little cash register of yours? And you'll go see her? Yeah, on one condition. Uh, from now on, you'll remember that you're a happily married man. Repeat. Happily, happily married man. On my word. Honor? Honor. All right. Oh, come on now. Honor. I don't think that icebox is going to give you any more trouble. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, thank you, Mr. Keller. Like I tell the missus, I like to keep saying ship shape around here. You know, it's not as though I was just a hired super. Another couple of months and I'm going to own this place. Just imagine. Yeah, free and clear. Bought and paid for. And you know... Like I don't tell her, missus. I'm gonna be ready to cut loose and live a little. If you know what I mean, and I think you do. I'll see you later. Miss Britton? Yes, of course you're Miss Britton. Who are you? My name's Hammer, Mike Hammer. I'm a friend of Emmett Gates. Oh, there you are. How nice. Won't you all come in, Mr. Hammer? Why, thank you, honey. 
y'all are the first one of Emmett's friends I've ever met. Ah. You see, my relations with Emmett have been, well, sort of... Uh... Uh, sneaky is the word you're groping for. Uh, Mark, but y'all do believe in coming right to the point, don't y'all? Yeah, I sure do, honey. You know, you think we could carry on this conversation in English? In English? What y'all talking about? Honey, that accent of yours is about as phony as a four-dollar bill. <laughs> All right, you win. The accent is a pony. I wouldn't know a hush puppy from a St. Bernard. Yeah. Oh, here's where it is, huh? Oh, yeah. I see Emmett told you about my hobby. Hobby? <laughs> well, he mentioned that your apartment is wired like the telephone building. And let's see, oh, yeah. Is this the tape that you played for uh, Emmett? Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. That's not necessary. You know, Miss Britton, blackmail is a felony, and a felony punishable by more than 30 days in the pokey. Well, I do declare. I believe big bad old you is trying to frighten <clears throat> poor little old me, Mr. Hammer, honey. <laughs> Maybe I'd like to use my telephone to call the sheriff and turn me in. No, not yet. Another thing you may not know, you've only got one customer for that tape. Only one? Well, only one that you can count on, and that's Emmett. Aren't you forgetting about his wife? Wife? Now, what gives you the idea that she'd pay anything for that roll of tape? There's one way to find out. <laughs> Let's call her and see. <laughs> Let's not. You know, honey, Emmett's offering you $5,000. <laughs> now, that's an awful lot of money. 15000 is a lot more money. This package just came for you. Why, thank you, Mrs. Keller. Miss Britton, did my husband speak to you about the rent? Why, no, he didn't. He said he was going to, but I didn't think he would. Miss Britton, we have to have the money. It's almost four months now. I'll talk to you about that later. There's nothing to talk about. We want the money by tomorrow, or you'll have to move. You're leaving? Well, it looks like you'd be busy packing. I'll wait until Mr. Keller tells me to go. No. You might give a lady some time to think your proposition over. Maybe you can have all the time you want. Why don't you come back later? I have a date, but I'll uh, break it. Uh, well, you think I could convince you to accept Emmett's offer? No. Well... But it might be fun to try. Let's say five o'clock. Yeah, let's say five o'clock. Uh, back to my office and telephoned Emmett. When I told him about my interview with Harriet Britton, he sounded as unhappy as the last act of Macbeth. For the first time, he seemed to realize that Harriet meant business and that his marriage was in danger of blowing up in his face. I didn't know whether that was good or bad. Though I didn't say so to Emmett, I had a certain grudging admiration for Harriet Britton. Either she was running one of the best bluffs I'd ever seen, or she was playing her hand with aces back to back. There was something about her attitude that didn't fit with a straight blackmail pitch. She was just too cool, too confident, too sure of herself. She acted too much like a gal who was about to trick a sucker with a stacked deck. And what a deck. I just had time to go home and make myself beautiful with a fast shave and a clean shirt before keeping my date with Miss Britton. Harriet, honey. I was wondering if you knew where I could find Miss Britton. She's in her apartment. No, she didn't answer the door. But when I came through the hall just a little while ago, I heard her. She was talking to someone. And the sound of her voice, it sounded like an argument. Have you got a pass key? Yes. I think we'd better have a look inside Miss Britton's apartment. Come on. Who are you? Never mind. Come on. Oh, oh. Hey, get your wife 
out of your apartment, will you? Come on. <laughs> Call the police and stay there. <laughs> surprised, but then Lois, his wife, more than made up for it. She threw me two stunners. One, that she had known all along about Harriet Britton, and two, that she had planned the whole thing. It, w it was just a trick. A trick? I arranged for Harriet Britton to meet Emmett. And if she'd lead him on and then try to blackmail him, I'd pay her $5,000. You... You what? Mike, I've known about Emmett for years, and these other women. If I'd had any pride and I didn't love him so much, I'd have left him a long time ago. Well, why didn't you just simply tell him that you knew about his playing around and... Because I knew it wouldn't do any good. Oh, yes, he'd promise and say it would never happen again. And he'd mean it when he said it. But then there'd be another woman. Oh, Mike, I just tried to throw a real scare yeah, into well, you him. you sure threw a scare into him, all right. Abuse. Oh, Mike, you've got to help him. Help him? How? But telling the cops that it was an unfortunate mistake, that it was a practical joke that backfired? The cops I know just don't have that much of a sense of humor. Hello? Uh, Emmett? Yeah. Let me talk to him. Hello, Emmett, this is Mike. Where are you? I'm in a phone booth in Grand Central Station. I want to talk to you. Now, look, Mike, you have to believe me. I didn't have anything to do... Save the explanations. Meet me in my office in 15 minutes. I'm coming with you, Mike. You're what? You're staying here. Isn't there anything I can do? You've done it. So? Well, after you called me and told me that she wouldn't accept less, I got into my car and I drove around the park for a while. And then I went to see Harriet. Why? To tell her that I'd pay off. What time was that? I don't know, a little before five, about a quarter to five. But she didn't come to the door, so I let myself in with the key. With the key that she'd given me. And you found, you found her already dead? Yes, yeah, she was dead. She was lying on the couch with a pillow over her head. A pillow? That's the truth, Mike. I swear to heaven, I didn't kill her. But then who tried to make it look like she committed suicide? I did. You did? Yes, yes, yes. Well, what made you think you could get away with a fool thing like that? I don't know. I, I, I lost my head. Use your head for real if you don't watch out. What do you do with the tape recording of this love scene you played with Harriet? I didn't do anything with it. Oh, come on now, Emma. Don't lie to me. Well, the truth, Mike. It wasn't on the recording machine. Harriet must have hidden it someplace. I, I looked all over the apartment port and I couldn't find it. That's the truth. Well, well, boy. Somehow you have managed to do everything absolutely wrong. You think you could manage to do just one thing right? What? Go to the police. Give yourself up. Tell them everything. Except for one thing. What's that? My part in all of this. But Keller, the, the landlord and his wife, they've seen you. Yeah, I know, and they'll tell the police about it. But they don't know my name. So the cops will be out looking for some mysterious stranger as a newspaper's caught. That should keep the cops off balance enough so they won't be too rough on you while they're looking for me. Now go on, beat it. And don't get lost between here and the nearest precinct house, huh? Mike. When you saw Lois, you told her about Harriet. Yeah, I told her about Harriet. I had to do it, Emmett. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 
Lois will stick by you. You think so? I know so. Now go on, Bita. Get yourself arrested, will you? The next morning, the newspapers were full of Harriet Britton's murder. Emmett was in custody, and although the police said they were looking for the man who had discovered Harriet's body and then disappeared, they were quoted as being confident that Gates was the murderer. There was nothing in any of the papers about the police finding any tape recordings in Harriet's apartment. And there was one other omission. looking for you. So I read by the newspapers. They just left, but they'll be back. Who are you? My name's Hammer. Mike Hammer. I'm a private investigator. I'm working for Emmett Gates. What do you want? I want to know why you didn't tell the police what you told me, that you heard Harriet arguing with someone. I did tell them. You're lying, Mrs. Keller. You get out of here. Let right. me alone. Let's try another question. You know anything about this? What's that? It's a rent bill for the money that Harriet Britton owed. Mark paid in full and signed by your husband. Get out of here. Did you know about this? Yes. Now get out. You're still lying, Mrs. Keller. Now what? What's the matter? <laughs> oh, you're hurt. Oh, wow. How did this happen? Who did this to you? Your husband? Why would he do a thing like that? Orson doesn't need a reason. He used to, but not anymore. It comes natural to him like... Does it have anything to do with this? Well, what makes you think that? Because I don't think your husband got one red cent for that. He didn't. That's what they were arguing about. It was your husband Harriet was arguing with? Yes. You see, all a woman has to do is smile at him, and, and he thinks she's secretly in love with him. Then he starts playing the big shot, and making a fool of himself, like like with that Britain woman. All the time that he was letting her owe $600 in rent, the company that owns a mortgage on this building was threatening to foreclose if we fell any further behind in our payments. He'd go snooping around up there, and then he'd come down here and beat me up if I, if I asked him what we were going to do for money to pay the bills. Good old Orson Keller. A woman's home companion. Do you think that your husband killed Harriet Pitton? I'll let you answer that for yourself, Mr. Hammer. I saw Orson hide it in there last night when he came down from Harriet Britton's apartment. Have you got a tape recorder here? Is there still a police guard upstairs in her apartment? Well, there was, but they took him off a little while ago. Good, let's go. I want to hear this. Come on. Now, why do you think I've been willing to forget the rent? Why do you think I give you that receipt? A man does a favor, he expects a favor. I'm telling you for the last time. Get out of here, you filth. Don't you call me names. I know what kind of woman you are. I know all about the boyfriends you've had in this apartment. Every one of them. No better than I am. Take your hands off me. Let me go or I'll... Ah! That's all there is. What's going on in here? He's dropping in a murder, Keller. No, wait a minute, mister. You got this all wrong. Yeah, maybe the police can get it right. Oh, well, the police. Look, I can explain that. Get your hands off that phone. No! Look, if you call the police, they're gonna think what you think and they're gonna lock me up. That they will do, Keller. Yeah, well, I couldn't stand that. They had me in jail once, and I know what it's like. The walls, the bars. It was like an animal in a cage. I couldn't breathe. And I won't let them do that to me again. Give me that phone.
didn't need a medical examiner's report to know that Keller was dead. The obsessive fear of being locked up in a cell had caused him to panic and die. It should have been over. I wished it were. But there was one question that still had to have an answer. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah. I suppose I should feel sorry, but I don't. I guess your husband got what he deserved. It's just too bad that you're responsible for him. What? What do you mean? How did you know what was on this tape? If, as you say, your husband hid the tape in your apartment here, where did you hear it? Why? In her apartment. When? See, not after the body was discovered. Because you yourself said there was a police guard in the place up until very recently. The only time you could have heard this tape was just before or just after you killed Harriet. Why did you kill her, Mrs. Keller? Why did I kill her? I don't know. I, w I went up there looking for Orson, but he just left. He was like a wild woman. She made me listen to the recording, and she said she was going to make Orson pay for what he'd done to her, send him to prison, or take everything we had. Hmm. Building everything. We argued and fought, and she, she stumbled and hit her head against the table and fell onto the couch. I, I picked up a sofa pillow, and, and I, I pushed it against her face until she was... Well, then I took the record. At first, I was going to try to protect Orson. And then when you came here this morning and showed me the rent bill and asked me if he'd killed her, I... Well, I decided to make it look that way. I thought it was my chance to... to get rid of him and... still have a little something for myself. That's all I wanted. Just a little something for myself. That's very generous of you. Oh, well, Mike, I'd make it twice as much if I thought you'd accept it. Oh, well. I... Uh, come along, dear, before he changes his mind. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Sure. Lois, take care of him now, will you? I will. And I'll take care of him. Well, oh, Mike. Huh? The girl in the uh, picture. Uh, what did you say her name was? Get out of here. Get out of here. 